I just wanted to point out that I'm wearing a Spongebob shirt and a Spongebob hat. So that just proves how old I am. Anyway, hey, what is up you guys? It is Taylor and today I have a super exciting video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a CD collection and you guys are probably like, Taylor, it's 2020. Who in the world still has CDs? Well, I do because I grew up with them. Uh, but I'm very excited to do this video because I did this video when I first started my channel and um, I haven't done one since because I really haven't gotten any new CDs since that video and I kind of still haven't. I, I only really bought like one. I haven't bought like 50 or anything like that so I figured I kind of just do an updated version if you guys want me to continue doing a CD collection like every year like I do my record collection then just give this video a huge thumbs up and I will for sure do that but we're just gonna get started and sorry if there's dust flying everywhere I don't really listen to these that much and also it's very sunny out so I apologize about the lighting as well but anyways we are just going to get started because I'm very very excited so the first one I have is Infinity by Against the Current. I got this when I saw them, I think, at my second show, I believe. It just looks like this on the inside. And my favorite songs are Closer, Faster, and Come Back Kid. Those songs are just bops, and I love Against the Current a lot. I've been listening to them literally forever. And then I have Gravity, which just looks like this. And then once you open it, it just looks like this. And my favorite songs are Talk and Fireproof definitely my faves. I don't have their first album on CD and I don't have their second album either. Why? I don't know. I just haven't gotten to it. Okay, next one is a Avril Lavigne CD. It just looks like this. I can't even tell you guys like a favorite song off of here because I only really like Girlfriend. I don't like any other songs. I have no idea why I decided to buy this. Maybe because I was trying to get an Avril Lavigne. I really don't know. Uh, but obviously I only like Girlfriend. So yeah, it's just what it looks like. Moving on. Next one I have is Auto Lights by Before You Exit. It just looks like this. I got this the last time I saw them. That was like four years ago now. Wow, that's that was a long time ago. I used to see them a lot when I was uh, in middle school. And then behind the disc has this really beautiful picture of them, which I did not notice. Um, I noticed it when I took it out to play it one day, and my mouth literally dropped to the floor. So <laughs> that was cool. Uh, but my favorite songs are Other Kids and When I'm Gone. Definitely her two best songs on here. Just saying. And I really want their um, I Like That EP and I still haven't bought it. I don't even think it's on their website anymore. Maybe they'll give it to me for free the next time I see them. I highly doubt that, but we can hope and pray. Okay. <laughs> Next two CDs are Cimarelli. So the first one is Up at Night. It just looks like this. I got this when I saw Cimarelli um, in 2016, I believe. And I love this album. It's one of my favorite albums ever. My favorite song off of here is Before October's Gone. I also love Fall Back, uh, Worth the Fight, uh, Hearts on Fire, Make It Stronger. There's so many great songs on here. I used to listen to this album a lot. And I still kind of do sometimes, but not too much anymore. But I love that album. And then before their album came out, they put out this Hearts on Fire EP and it just looks like this. It has most of the songs that Up at Night has so that's like kind of dumb that I bought this as well but they're all in acoustic so that's uh pretty cool. So my favorite songs are obviously Before October's Gone. I like Move On. Unsaid, unsaid Things. Sorry. Um, a lot like Love. There's a lot of good songs on here. Just saying. Okay so the next couple CDs have something to do with Ross Lynch, Austin Alley Days, Teamish Movie Days. You guys get it. So the first one I have is the Austin Alley Turn It Up CD. I got this from Michaela because she got two for Christmas one year. So she gave one to me, which I deeply appreciate. And my favorite songs are um, Superhero, What We're About, Chasing the Beat of uh, My Heart, Stuck on You, uh, Steal Your Heart, Think About You. There's so many good songs on here and I just love it. Next one I have is Take It From The Top. This is the last round of Austin and Alley music before Austin and Alley ended, which was one of the worst days of my life, by the way. Um, but my favorite songs are obviously the theme song, Take It From The Top. There's so many bops on here. And I don't have the first album with Double Take and all that. I still have a bond that. I don't know why. I probably should buy it, but you know. Then the next one I have is the first Team Beach Movie soundtrack. It just looks like this. Once you open it, it looks like that. And my favorite songs are excuse me, uh Cruiser for Bruise and Follow For Ya. Uh Meant to Be. There's a lot of good songs on here. And then I have the second one as well. Just looks like this. And I love the disc on the second one. Like, look how freaking cool that is. Just looks like this. And my favorite songs are Best Summer Ever, On My Own, um, 
and yeah that's about it so there you go next one i have is r5's louder this is one of my favorite albums ever r5 was literally my my favorite band when i was in like probably sixth grade i used to wear r5 stuff all the time and i miss r5 i mean i know they're st still around they're called a dryer ever or whatever but this is the era that i really liked and this is the thing that i need back just saying um and anyways my favorite songs are loud because that's my favorite r5 song of all time uh wish when i was 23 which is a bonus track by the way um if i could be with you forget about you there's so many pops on here miss r5 Anyway, next one I have is Sometime Last Night by R5. Just looks like this. It's a little zine pack, and it just has a bunch of cool little things about the album and stuff like that. There's R5 tattoos, which I've never used. Probably should. And then, this is what the disc looks like. And my favorite songs... I think this song's written on the back. Okay, they are. I was going to say, I don't know where they're written. All uh, my favorite songs are... Uh, Do It Again, very underrated song. Uh, Let's Not Be Alone Tonight, Wild Hearts some solid stuff next couple are all by taylor swift first one is fearless it just looks like this it's one of my favorite albums ever i've literally had this forever and i just love it all uh, my favorite songs are 15 love story breathe with colby colette tell me why you're not sorry forever and always one of my favorite taylor swift albums next one i have is speak now it just looks like this once you open it just looks like this my favorite songs are back to december speak now dear john mean story of us uh sparks fly some pops on here as well next one i have is red just looks like this once you open it just looks like this and my favorite songs are um all too well that is my favorite taylor Swift song like ever um everything's changed with ed sheeran um red almost do love a lot of songs off of there and then i shot 1989 which just looks like this it also came with a lot of polaroid pictures which i thought was pretty cool i probably should like hanging those around my room i kind of forgot those were in there um anyway it's just what the cd looks like so it looks like on the back and then once you open it it just looks like this and my favorite songs are welcome to new york blank space um how to get the girl wildest dreams i like a lot of songs over here taylor swift has some great stuff just saying i know a lot of people used to rat on her but don't okay next album i have is the cd that i bought a couple weekends ago when i was in target with my friends and i wasn't gonna buy it because i'm really trying to save my money but you know sometimes you just gotta buy things that you don't need but you need it you know so this is uh louis Tomlinson's first album walls it just looks like this um i really want this on vinyl as well I haven't gotten to it um but this is what it looks like when you open it and my favorite songs are don't let it break your heart too young uh perfect now habit i love a lot of these songs obviously louis was in one direction and the fact that he went so low taylor is very happy about it so i'm so happy that i have that next one i have is sabrina carpenter's evolution i don't even like this album that much i love her first album better so um, i'm sorry sabrina i have no idea why i have this uh but my favorite songs are on purpose and that's literally it because that's the only song I like. So, you know, and then the next couple are all by Five Seconds of Summer, who I love dearly. I love them a lot. They're, they're some great people. Okay, first one is their first album. Their first, this album got me through so much and I will sit here and cry, but I can't do that. But I love this album. This album got me through so much and I just love it a lot. This looks like this and I want you to open it. It just looks like these and I still want this on vinyl if anybody knows where to get it please let me know because I need that in my life uh, but my favorite songs are she looks so perfect um 18 beside you everything I didn't say long way home I don't know I love this whole album it's great just saying the next one I have is live uh five sauces is basically their first album live like in concert it just looks like this and my favorite songs are amnesia uh disconnected um long way home heartache on a big screen <gasps> oh my god i love that song anyway <laughs> so there you go next one i have is their second album sounds good feels good i also have this on vinyl as well so you know i had to support this album but i still want their first album on vinyl like really bad i probably should go search for it anyway just what it looks like on the inside and my favorite songs are jet black heart catch fire uh safety pin cast away uh, the Girl Who Cried Wolf, Airplane, San Francisco. There's so many pops on here. This album's great. And I love it. And Five Seconds of Summer is a great band. 
You should listen to that. Okay, next couple and the last couple CDs I'm going to show are all Justin Bieber and One Direction. So I'm going to start with Justin Bieber. So I have My World, the first one. This looks like this. I don't know where this little paper thing went, so I can't tell you. But, you know, my favorite songs are Favorite Girl, One Less Lonely Girl, Love Me, and One Time. Next one I have is My World 2.0. Just looks like this. Once you open it, it looks like that. My favorite songs are Suck in the Moment, uh, Runaway Love, Eeny Meeny with Sean King Sim, and that should be me. I also have his Believe album, but I think that's downstairs to my garage, and um, that's about it. Okay, and then the next uh, few, like I said, are One Direction. So the first one I have is Up at Night. Just looks like this. Once you open it, it just looks like this and my favorite songs are what makes you beautiful because that was my first ringtone uh, when i first got a phone uh i wish one thing so my heart um everything about you same mistakes well this album and then i also have my favorite album of all time which is a one direction album this is take me home it just looks like this once you open it it just looks like this and my favorite songs are come on come on um heart attack rock me uh over again they don't know about us and that is about it. So obviously I bought these the day that they both came out. And then for Christmas later those years my grandparents <laughs> bought me um, like the limited edition ones. So now I have two of each album. As you could tell I was a One Direction uh, fanatic person. So it's just what they look like. So obviously it just looks like this. And then once you open it it just looks like this. Obviously the disc is just red like last time. And then there's just a bunch of cool stuff in here about One Direction. I don't even know what text in here. Oh, there's stickers. Oh, I can use these and like put those on my laptop or something. Uh, but yeah, it just has a lot of cool like fan art. This very interesting, fun picture. So yeah. And then obviously I have this one as well. Just looks like this. Once you open it, it just looks like that. The disc is red, just like last time as well. And then there's just a very lovely picture of them. And that's kind of it. And there's just some more pictures so yeah that was my cd collection for 2020 i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys want me to do this regularly like i said before make sure you all subscribe to my channel if you have not already my name is taylor and i will see you all next week all right bye guys